Hey plant fam! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle and if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So today I have a repeat video that I tend to do every few months and you guys enjoy it it seems and um I'm gonna show you four plants I have today that are on the struggle bus and talk about why they're on the struggle bus and what I've done wrong with these plants or what I can't figure out about these plants and um show you proof that there's no such thing as a green thumb and that everybody still kills plants and that anybody can take care of plants like there's there's I don't like this notion of like a black thumb or a green thumb um we just have plants and sometimes they die <laughs> so um I don't even know where to start the first one on my list here is one <laughs> that I've shown you guys before it's been struggling literally since like May of last year and I've done all the things I've watered it I've taken care of it and it still just hates me so this is my Hemalamina um the camouflage one or whatever it's called and uh <laughs> you guys know that in the process of me moving from New York to Connecticut this plant missed one water one watering one not stress that enough it was one watering I water this thing like every few days and because it's very thirsty and it'll let you know it gets droopy um I watered it every few days and I skipped one watering because I wasn't there I wasn't home I was here <laughs> and I came back and this thing was just so crispy I was like oh what happened to you and I was like it's fine like it's dramatic I'll just keep on watering it and giving it nice um light and it'll come back and it still looks like this um so I've cut off all of the like brown crispy tips and all the brown crispy leaves it is working on a new one but all the new ones that come in come in like kind of deformed and weird so I couldn't really figure out what was wrong with this plant and I was getting really tired of looking at it so I repotted it into this ceramic and I put it in a nice chunky mix and I moved it from the corner of the bedroom here it's kind of like bare right here because I'm um, taking care of my orbifolia that looks like it's got like some bugs on it or something I'm not exactly sure what's going on with it but um this one I decided to move from the corner over here out into the living room where it can get more light more ambient light throughout the day and I'm hoping that that's gonna help so fingers crossed this is now gonna be sitting in the background behind me in the living room so hopefully we'll watch it come back and thrive because it is a really beautiful plant I was able to get it for really cheap at Home Depot it was so full and lush and I was so in love with it and it's been nothing but a disappointment since so hopefully this new pot and the new soil that it's in is going to uh work <laughs> hopefully so Hamalamina selby is that what it's called something like that All right so this next one is kind of sad because it was thriving until I moved it into the living room and I'm not exactly sure what happened so like it looks like I haven't been watering it but I assure you I've been watering it <laughs> it's like it looks really dry right now but I'm thinking it needs to be repotted it's probably in one of those like plugs too so I don't know if that is like really affecting it it usually doesn't it does have some mealybugs on it so like that could be I don't know it's just not a it's not a healthy plant so um azionema are really easy going so I'm not exactly sure what's going on with this one aside from like the mealybug issue gross but um yeah this one's just looks like crap so <laughs> it's on the struggle bus heading straight towards struggle city so um i thought it would be fun to do like a follow-up video after this where we like attempt to take care of these plants and rescue them and repot them so let me know if that's something that you 
uh, want to see because then the next one on my list definitely needs to be repotted. And that is my Apobolus something or other. I forget what the, the name of it is, but it's so thirsty and I find it very difficult to keep up with even when I am keeping it properly watered. So I do also feel like this one needs to be repotted into my custom mix that I like just know my plants do well in. And um, then maybe it won't look so floppy because it didn't look like this before. And it's starting to get like crispy leaves, probably because I'm being very inconsistent with the watering on this one. But I really love the variegation on these leaves. And this one I got with my friend Chris while we were out shopping together and she got it for me. And I really just want it to be alive. I don't want to kill it. So, um... Yeah, that's the third plan on my list today is this apple ballus something or other. It's still in its nursery container, so, like, I don't love the soil. It just looks like a pretty boring soil mix. This is also a pot that my friend Adina made me. If you're not a member, you didn't see it. I did um, an unboxing um, uh, for my members with this when she sent it to me for my birthday last year, and it's just so cute. It's got me and Crusher Pants on it picture of me and David, me smooching my kitty, me smooching my boyfriend, and Totoro, <laughs> obviously. So really, really cute. Oh, and Tigris. Tigris is here too. So um, yeah, just wanted to show that off to you guys as well. So I got a pot from my friend Adina, and I put my plant in it from my friend Chris, which is appropriate because they're also friends which is adorable, which is something I love about the Plant Fan membership. I love watching my members connect with each other and build friendships with each other. It's really cute. So come on over if you want to hang out and uh, make some friends. I think we're all pretty cool. Sort of. <laughs> some of my favorite people, though, for real. Really, really sweet, supportive group of women. So the last plant on my list today. <laughs> you guys, if you've been here, you'll remember when I bought this plant, I was so excited about it. It was so cute. I never see them. And I left it here with David because I bought it here in Connecticut and there was no point in me bringing it back to New York to then just eventually have to bring it back to Connecticut when I moved here. So I left it here and he didn't water it enough and I made fun of him for like the last year, maybe longer, for murdering it, but it did come back <laughs> and it like grew its leaves back eventually. It just didn't like come back with as much variegation. So this is my ficus Benjamina Eldorado. Um, and this was the original plant that I made fun of him for killing, but like ficus just like to drop all their leaves sometimes and then they come back. But that's what the new one looks like. So I went and got a new one because I thought that this one was donezo. And um, yeah, this is bad. This is really bad, huh? So it put, it's growing. It's putting out a new leaf at the at the tip of the of the dead. The all the. I'm just like I'm annoyed. Like it's got new growth coming out. I'm annoyed. I gotta take all these dead leaves off. And you see the little new growth? I'm annoyed because I kept this well watered. I didn't neglect it at all. Um, so I'm just kind of annoyed with that because the variegation on it was really, really beautiful. And this one came back with like not as much variegation. It's like starting to now and I've been giving it brighter light. It's like growing kind of sideways like a bonsai, but that's fine. <sighs> So, like, I'm confident that it's going to come back. I just have to keep watering it. But, like, how sad is that? This was so full and lush. And um, it just decided to, like, throw a fit. I didn't move it. I didn't do anything different. This is pot. is adorable, isn't it? I didn't do anything different. So, I just don't. I don't know why. Why? This is why people don't like ficus. You're giving yourself a bad name. But it'll come back. It's just irritating, to be honest. So those are my four plants that I'm struggling with right now. 
um, hoping that we can rescue all of them successfully. A lot of the times I do this video and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna just gonna throw this one in the trash. <laughs> so um, definitely not gonna be throwing this in the trash because it will come back. It's already, it's already doing it. So I genuinely don't know what happened, but there's gonna just be like dead leaves everywhere now. So um, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any of these plants in your collection, if you struggle with any of these plants as well. Um, and let me know if you're interested in watching me try and save these <laughs> and repot them. This one I won't touch, probably. I was waiting for spring, honestly, to pot them together because they are a little bit finicky ficus and I don't like to bother them in the colder months, but um, we're gonna have to wait for her to like come back now because they don't like their roots touched and I genuinely, I'm not trying to like stress it out more. So, um, <laughs> there's that. I love you guys. <laughs> if you enjoyed hanging out with me today, you should give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. There's also a notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. Sometimes I just go live without really giving much warning, but I'm trying to be better about like scheduling that. I was thinking like Monday nights. Let me know if you guys are good with Monday nights uh, live streams because I like hanging out with you and hopefully you like hanging out with me too. And if we have a more consistent schedule, maybe more of you will be able to actually like pop in and be part of the chat. So the last one that we did was really fun answering all your plant questions and I definitely want to make that a regular thing so come and hang out <laughs> and um uh did I say that there's a join button if you want to be part of the official plant fam so you can see the members only content and hang out in the group chat with those lovely ladies that I was just telling you about. Um, if not, there's a super thanks button if you wanna super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. I cannot do this without you guys. You know that I love you, And I hope that you're having a great day. And I also hope that I see you in the next one. Bye.